everyone, Markeisha here. Today I will be sharing with you two tag gift sets that I created. I really um, think this is such a great idea to give during the holidays. Let me show you the products that I used. I used the Winter Frost by Recollection. Really pretty paper, guys. I know you guys have seen this paper already. I really love this. And I only picked up the 6x6 six six packs in these. And then I also used the Crystal Frost by Craftsmith. And this paper is gorgeous as well. It's double-sided, so I really love that. Really pretty. Okay. I also used these pre-made tags. This is a great way to create fast projects, guys. Already getting the pre-made things. I love that by recollection. I use the Tattered Angels Glimmer Chips, and these are the Frosted Memories. I really love these as well. Pick those up at Tuesday morning. I use a Recollection Cart Base. I'm trying to use up those. I have tons of those. And then I use the Sizzix Alteration Tim Holtz Dye Stocking Stuffer. And those are the products that I used. So let me just go ahead and show you guys the very first gift set tags that I created. Here it is. I repurposed a 4x4 note card box that I had in my stash. I used the Cranberry, um, I think it's the Craftsmith paper uh, at Michael's to cut out the cuttables and good tidings in Noel. And then I used this gorgeous heart-shaped uh, trim. I really love that trim, it's so pretty. And then I just put a gold bow, and these are pre-made with a clear button in the center there. And so let me just show you guys the tags that I created. In this gift set, I also included the little candy canes that came with the cuttables so that the person that receives these if they would like to just kind of add them to the projects they can and so here is the tags I really love these tags they're so sturdy I uh, kind of double layered it and then I put a little satin bow to hang I really love this little reindeer trim I'm telling you I'm loving this little country feeling of the reindeers this season and then the back is like this. And so I did not put to and from on them. I left that open for the recipient to do. And then here is the other one. I really love this sweater, uh, sweater like print here. And this is this one on the back. And this one is the third one. Okay. So this is the first gift sets that I uh, created, tag gift sets. And so I really um, am glad that I can use some of these boxes that I am housing and hoarding, guys. I always try to keep packaging and boxes to repurpose. And this is how this one will come packaged. Let me jump in and show you guys the second set. Here is the second gift set that I created. This one is so wintry, I really love this one. At the bottom, I have some fur trim, and this is by Doris. I picked this up, I believe, at Joann's. And then I have this bow on the side with a gold button. I really love the play of the silver and gold. That's so pretty with the blue. I fussy cut this Merry Christmas out and just kind of created a banner. This recollection, um, I'm sorry, this card base here is a coffee, um, holder that I got I had in my stash and I just used it so it can be kind of sturdy so that I can tuck the tags in and let me just pull out the first tag here's the first tag here very simple and quick I just did some double layering and did a little fussy cutting out of the paper stash always seem to be glue just kind of dangling over it on it and so again with these little um, die cuts here you can emboss them you can add glitter I really love and I'm surprised I didn't add uh, additional glitter and then here is just a little ribbon that I tied at the top so that's the first one and then here is the second one again I added that little fuzzy trim there cut this out of the paper line of the cuttables and then here is 
some snowflakes, and this is another pack of Recollection uh, new finds that I found. I didn't show that. And then this is a mitten, and it has a little snowflake on it. Really pretty, guys. I really love. These are simple tags to make, and then use that same ribbon at the top. And then the last one is this one here, Winter Wonderland. Cut out the cuttable at the bottom, added this little silver star. Did some double layering with the doily and the snowflake. And then tied a ribbon at the top. So um, I like the way this little pouch um, house everything because it's pretty sturdy. It's actually a tight fit, so <laughs> I hope that that is okay. And then the back, I just added that heart shape trim and finished the back off. And so all I have to do is add this into the packaging so that I can give this to the recipient. I really love this. I am loving this gold and silver and baby blue. It is so pretty. We hardly get snow. Um, a lot of times we get ice where I live and that's horrible. I would rather have the snow and so I always love to play along with winter projects. So thanks guys so much for watching. Hello to all of my new subbies. So glad you joined me and thank you to all of my returning subbies. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Have a blessed day. Bye.